Shalom, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elders of GMS who rule well, and Shalom and salutations to the Akyam, uh, pushing the truth and, and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, this lesson is basically called My Father, My Father, the Chariots of Israel. Okay? And uh, basically, the excerpt you're watching is from a highway session we did. Uh, uh, two weeks ago now, all right. Um, uh, basically, we saw chariots at the camp, you know. And basically, you know, it's a sign that the Most High is showing Himself, and um, He's gonna He's gonna start showing Himself even more, man, you know. But it was just like a it was like a token. It was a blessing for the brothers to see it, man, you know. And the first brother that saw it was Ibar, all right. And the man saw the chariots. Um, up in the sky far away it was at first it was one chariot floating <coughs> so like, yeah. and then the next one came all right and then they left I was gonna shoot it on camera but I said forget it but then after 10 or so minutes three of them came and I bar saw him again and I bar this is a man that needs reading glasses so how did he see the chariots it's, it's a spiritual thing you know and um, <coughs> so like, yeah. <coughs> he saw uh, three of them there's three of them so I said you know what I took the camera and then I just I zoomed in because the brother's trying to zoom in it was hard but I, I zoomed in on chairs before man because I, I recorded chairs before seeing them um, you know from my house and, and stuff so I zoomed in and it was three of them man and they formed a triangle and then after they formed the uh, you all you're gonna see it anyway you're watching it now but uh, you know it was a blessing man you know so uh, this is a um, Second Ezra chapter six. Um, and uh, eighteen. And it says and it said, Behold, the days come that I will <coughs> begin to draw <coughs> Slack and nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. So the days come, right, that he will begin to draw nigh, the most has drawn nigh. All right, and in that day, Yahweh Shai, when he comes, he's gonna come in a bit you know, in the mothership, man. It's gonna be a big chariot. All right, Ezra saw the chariot. He said, "I would look for the region," but he couldn't find it. It was like a it was like a mountain, man. All right, so we read again. It says, "And it said, Behold, the days come that that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth." So the Most High is visiting you. How's he visiting you? He's visiting you through earthquakes. He's visiting through tornadoes. Now they got a new thing called fire tornadoes, man. It's a, it's a, it's a whirlwind of fire, not wind. All right, he's visiting through uh, you through plagues. Okay, tsunamis, typhoons. Okay, and really, when he's gonna visit you also is through the chariots, man, because the chariots, according to Zechariah five, that's the curse. That's that uh, 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 that um, is 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 waiting for the white man. All right, let's go to verse nineteen, and we'll be like <coughs> and we'll begin, right, to make inquisition of them. What they be that have that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. So what is an inquisition, man? To be inquisitive, it's an inquiry. Right. It's a, it's a, it's literally, let's look it up, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to go on dictionary.com and we're going to look up the word inquisition, man. Okay. Because that's a heavy word, man. All right. Right now, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai has the men of the Lord, the prophets. We're searching out the sins of the whole earth, man. As it says in 2nd Ezra's, uh, what is it, four, uh, 16. Okay. And we're lifting up the skirt of this devil. Alright? But now the Mosai, he's going to come and he's going to do his own inquisition, man. So this is the word inquisition from dictionary.com. It says, an official investigation. That's the word I was looking for. Especially one of a political or religious nature. Okay? Characterized by lack of regard for individual rights. Prejudice on the part of the examiners. And recklessly cruel punishments. Okay? Any harsh, difficult, or prolonged questioning, 
the act of inquiring, inquiry, research. All right, so that's what Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is coming down to do, an inquisition, man. All right, of them, right? Of who? Of the white man, because well, how do we know that? Let's read on. What they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness? Okay, they stole this land, Canada. All right, uh, you got Gadots in Caledonia protesting now. For what? For the injustice that the white man has done. America, the Caribbean islands, South America, okay. Um, and and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled, and the affliction of Zion is fulfilled, man. All right, our our tribulation is over. You know. Our uh, our punishment is served, man. All right. So let's go to. Zechariah chapter 2 It's like it 2 Kings chapter 2 and, and 6 <coughs> And it says And Elijah said unto him Terry I pray thee here For the Lord hath sent me to Jordan And he said as the Lord liveth Now this is Elijah and Elisha As the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth I will not leave thee And they two went on And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went And stood to view afar off and they stood by Jordan, and Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me, when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. All right? And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel. And the horsemen thereof. Right? He said the chariot of Israel. Because when you see UFOs, so called UFOs that the white man likes to call, those are the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Alright? Those are the chariots that are coming back to deliver and save the elect of Israel, man. Okay? Or like the brother uh, uh, Kazak, he made the video, Yasharallah Bakhayar. Alright? Israel elect, man. That's who Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is coming to save, man. And and Elisha looked up. So you brothers, when if you see a chariot, don't, hey, don't be, don't be, don't be, um, don't think it's the unknown, man. Don't think it's some spooky thing. Don't think it's, you know, something scary, man. Praise Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, man. When we saw the chariot at the camp, the chariots at the camp, man, we praise Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. And, and and all the simpletons are walking by like it's a normal day, man. And then there's three chairs that can fucking destroy that whole city, man. Toronto is a wicked-ass place, man. You know? And Elisha sighed, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. Okay? So that was that. Uh, I'm going to also look up the word chariot. Let's go on. Adam online. Chariot uh, from... Old French chariot wagon, augmentative of char, meaning car. Okay? So it means car. Now let's look up the word car. Let's go a little further. Let's go in more inquisitive, man. Car, wheeled vehicle. Okay? Going down to Latin carus, originally two wheeled Celtic war chariot. Going down more from PIE, which is pre Indo European. Uh, chrysos from root curse meaning to run okay meaning to run okay so a chariot is really of a, a wheeled vehicle or a car or slakia uh, it's a wheeled vehicle now it's funny <coughs> what did let's go to uh, Zechariah right Zechariah 5 and one. Let's see what 
the prophet Zechariah described the chariot as. Right? It says, um, it's like Zechariah 5 um, and verse 1. And he said, And I, then I turned and lift up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Right? What is a wheel? What is a roll? It's a, it's a, it's, hold on, like, what is a wheel? It's a circle. What is a roll? It's a circle. So he said he saw a flying roll. Right? And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on this as on that side according to it, man. <coughs> That's the white man. Okay, he stole this land. He stole our heritage. Swear, what does swear mean? Make, take your notes. Every treaty he made with the North American Indians, he broke. He swore in the Bible. He swore uh, uh, Canada's, Canada's Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The foundation is the, is the Bible. They broke every law in the Bible. So, there you go. That's the curse. I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof, right? So when the chariots come back, they're going to do damage on this place, man. Alright? So that's what the word uh, chariot means, to run. You know? So so when he said, he saw the chariot and the horses, alright? Because a horse runs, and a horse also represents power. He saw them chariots go, they can glide, or they can or they can um, uh, take off at the speed of light, man. You know? I'm going to close off on this last scripture. In the, the book of Ecclesiasticus uh, 36, I'm going to start at 1, I'm going to read on. It says, Have mercy upon us, O Lord, power of all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon all, all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations, and let them see thy power, and they're going to soon see his power. As thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let them know thee, as we have known thee, that there is no power, but only thou, O power. Show new signs, and make other strange wonders. Right? So the Most High can do all kinds of things, man. Hey, just like uh, Korah, the rebellious fucking uh, Israelites in, in the wilderness with uh, what was it, Levi and Reuben. The sons of Levi and Reuben, Korah and his sons. The Most High made a new thing happen. He, he, he cracked open the earth and, and, and uh, swallowed them niggas up. And then he closed back the earth. That was a new thing, it, it says in the scriptures. So, <coughs> the Mosai, the fire tornado, that's a new thing, man. You know? Mosai's going to make all kinds of new things happen. All kinds of new plagues, all kinds of new wonders happen, man. Alright? It says, verse 6, Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. So who the fuck is Nate talking about 20 years, 30 years, uh, uh, General Yohanna talking about gear, GED, uh, do all this madness, man. We don't, we don't got that time, man. Make the time short, nigga. Okay? We're here for a short period of time. All you assholes prolonging the time, we're not in the prolonging season, man. Hey, like Elder Tahar says, we're in the time of judgment, man. Okay? Verse 8, make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare that, that wonderful works. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire. And let them perish that oppress the people. Who? Israel. All right. Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen that say there is none other but we. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. Okay. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. And upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn, O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. All right, and that was basically it. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, you know, and the Lord's coming with, with new things, man. You brothers, keep an eye out. Uh, there was a blessing that, that happened at the camp, you know, and uh, you know. <coughs> Until next time, I say shalom.